Hi, welcome to Tag Arcade. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to release a game for WebGL. Uh, so within Unity, uh, you can go to the File and Build Settings, and you do have the WebGL um, option. And you can go ahead and click on the Build button, and it'll ask you where do you want to save the project. So go ahead and create a project, and hit select folder and it'll start building. I did that ahead of time because it's going to take a while and I have it right here. So once it builds the files it's going to create two folders and the index.html and if you're like me and you double clicked on it nothing is going to happen. What happened to my build? Why? Well well, like all things, I went online to figure out what's going on, and one of the websites that I came across was this one from the Ludum Dare talking about um, this new WebGL thing. And um, yeah, I came across the oddities that when you build it to a server, you have to exclude the HTML.ht access file that Unity generates. And I was like, what? That's the reason why it's not working? So, where is that HT access file? Well, it's under release. And here's the HT access file. So with this file here, um, the web browser doesn't have access to this Unity folder. So go ahead and hit delete on that file. And now, Unfortunately, it still won't work because I'm actually not on a web server. This build is not on a web server. So it's still going to be an empty frame no matter how hard I try. Um, yeah. Uh, if You could even try it on Google Chrome, which I've done before. Uh, so Google Chrome. And yeah, it's still empty. Nothing will work. Uh, the weird thing is you can actually run this on Firefox. That will work. I'll say no. Come on. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to test this, uh, the WebGL version, I'll go ahead and close that. So if you do want to test the WebGL version, definitely download and install Firefox. It'll run off of it. If you do want to test it with the Google Chrome and the Microsoft Edge web browser. Um, like I said, it has to be on a web server, so you could either upload it to whichever web server you have, or you could simply install your own web server. So a popular web server that I use is called WAMP, W-A-M-P. So WAMP server, which is a nice EXE, just download WAMP, install it, and it gives you all the uh, three major things. The, it gives you an Apache server, Apache server, along with the MySQL and PHP already integrated into one environment. So you just double click on the EXE, run it, install it, and all three things will work and talk to each other perfectly. Because if you try to set up all three things separately, it is a pain in the butt. Uh, WAMP server is for Windows and Windows only. If you want for the Mac, it's called MAMP. M-A-M-P. MAMP. So MAMP is like WAMP, but for the Mac. Uh, and of course, you have LAMP, which is the Linux version of WAMP. Is this the lamp? Yeah, this is lamp. Okay. So like I said, go ahead, run it, and that's how you get the WebGL player working for your computer. So if if you want me to talk about other topics or you have questions for me, definitely ask me. Leave a comment below. Email me at media at tagarcade.com. And until next time, have fun and just... Keep on creating games.